Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here. I'm Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I just said Pearls of Wisdom like four times, five times now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to be giving you fine picks for the 20th. 20th. Yes, for the 20th. As you can see in the background there, we're going to take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to have to get right to them, too. Because I did a live stream today for uh, the Edmonton Oilers and Winnipeg Jets, which was a very disappointing game for me because I'm an Oilers fan. Also because I had the Oilers and the over. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay, so uh, thank you all for subscribing. And uh, I'm doing a, uh, you can check out my, uh, I'm doing a Eichel traded to every player videos right now you might want to check it out and please if you do do yourself a favor and go check out the comment section of that we are getting all kinds of comments about Eichel um, and mostly actually in my Facebook if you want to look me up at uh, Pearl, the Pearls of Wisdom show Pearls of, or Pearls of Wisdom on Facebook go ahead you can also get me on Twitter at Pearls NHL POW but Check out the comments. They're really knowledgeable people. That's why I love doing this. I I enjoy the banter back and forth. I don't think I'm the best capper in the world. I know a lot of great cappers out there. I think there are a lot of us that are very good. Do I think I'm a good capper? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't, right? But um, there's a lot of really good cappers out there. There's uh, Ricketts Picks. Uh, I like him. Uh, the Ice Guys, if you're talking just straight hockey, and uh, Best Bet Ed, check him out too. But, okay, I got to get out this because I am tired after doing that live stream. Oh, it was fun. It was so exciting. The frolic was crazy. Uh, thank, hit the subscribe right now. Subscribe. Hit the like if you like it too. It likes it when you hit the like. It does. So... And I'll send you a mind and tell pearls of wisdom necklace right to your door. Let's get to it. Okay, May 20th. Florida is really... Uh, this is a tough one. I have a... Uh, Tampa's just out playing Florida. They just... I, I they, they, they coasted a bit through the regular season. And I guess it's pretty much to conserve energy after winning the cup last year. And it, most of the time, you never want to do that. Just turn it on when you feel like it. But they are, and they did. Now, Sam Bennett will be in back in that, back in at center for Florida after he got a uh, suspension for one game for a brutal hit that he deserved a suspension for. Um, just make sure you guys can see this all right in the chat. Yeah, Florida, Tampa Bay. I better bring it down so you can see it, right? Um, anyways, yeah. So we got Tampa on the money line for 171 at home. That's really good juice. I guess it's hard to think that they're going to beat Florida three games in a row, but I think they are. I think they might even sweep them. Tampa Bay is playing so well. Vasilevsky's playing out of this world. Florida can't get their goaltending, which one they're going to play. I personally would just go with the kid. Go with Spencer Knight. Reach for the fences now. Don't wait till you're down three. If they go with Spencer Knight, I might actually take Florida in this game. But as it is, Tampa Bay has just outclassed Florida. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. And I'm going to go with... The total's tough on this one, but they're, they're at home. I'm going to go the over. Tampa Bay and the over. Uh, if Unless Spencer Knight, I've, as you can tell, I really love Spencer Knight. I'm thinking, I'm saying put a kid, a kid goaltender in playoffs, but he's that good. He's that good. I think he could do just fine. As it is, it'll probably be Drigger, and I like Drigger, but Tampa Bay's offense, he's he's also doesn't have much playoff experience either. 
I think it probably could go over. Uh, Islanders versus Pittsburgh. I'm taking the Islanders here. Um, Pittsburgh won the last game. They came out strong, but the Islanders slowed down the game late, later and uh, really kind of not really outplayed Pittsburgh, but kind of outsmarted them. Uh, they didn't necessarily beat them to every puck and all that kind of stuff like that, but they played the Islander system. Uh, I'm going to still go the under at five here since you're getting 215 because I don't think Varlamov's going to make the same mistake. Pittsburgh won the last one because Varlamov, I don't know what he was thinking on that shot. I, I have no idea. But he's not going to do that too often. Um, and the Islanders generally don't score a lot, even against a guy like Jari. They don't play that type of game. They get up a couple, and then they protect the lead. So I'm going to take the five <laughs> under, and I'm going to take the Islanders ML. Um, I just don't trust Jari, and I like the way the Islanders played, even though they lost the last game. Toronto versus Montreal. I'm taking Toronto. I'm not going to go in regulation here. I want to see this game first. Because Montreal could do some damage here if uh, if they play a heavy game against them. And who's – I wanted to look here. Okay, yeah, they don't have any injuries anymore. Amazing how that happens in the playoffs. You just all of a sudden don't have any injuries. Let me refresh it just to make sure, and let me make sure you can see what I'm showing you. Okay. Okay, Montreal. Only has Drew N. They got a full roster. That means Gallagher is going to be back and everybody. They are on the road. I'm still going to take Toronto. But I'm probably not going to put a lot on this. I'm having a funny feeling about that. I generally don't go on feelings, but I'm having a funny feeling about this game. Price will probably be in net, I suppose. And that's a question mark right now. How good is Price going to be? Um, that being said, because of that, because price is sort of a question mark, uh, Campbell has been good. I'm going to go, I, I think you got to go the over on that still over five and a half Vegas versus Minnesota. I don't know. I probably fade this game if I were you, but since I got to do, I'm doing a pick for every game. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I I really think Minnesota could win this game. And I don't want them to because I picked Vegas. And I love Vegas. Vegas is my second favorite team in the West. But the way they're playing right now. Okay, I'm going to tentatively go with Minnesota. I may change my mind. I'm back and forth on this. I'm going the under, though. That's for sure. Under five and a half. Talbot and Flurry are playing out of their heads. So, um, yeah, that was my picks. We'll look at uh, we'll look at the games from last night now, as well. Let's take a look at how we did. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just sort of there. By the way, this is my Patreon. Let me show you real quick the kind of thing I do here. For every game, I give you a overview or uh, analysis of who's going to win. Make sure you can see this. See what I mean? I'm going to stick with Rask over Anderson in net here. I thought Anderson was going to be in net. It ended up being Samsonov. I didn't find out that Samsonov was going to be in. This would have been an under for sure, but it wasn't. So... Anyways, this is what I do. I write up this, usually even a lot longer than this, about every game. And uh, if you like, if you want this information, it's not just about me giving you picks. It's about giving you information that from a person who's been studying the game for a very long time and happens to hit a lot when doing picks. Um, you can compare that with other cappers that I mentioned earlier in the video or your own or what have you. It's just about information. Cost you 25 bucks a month, and I'll give you the first month for free to try out. And if you don't like it, you can quit at any time, including before you ever got to pay. So go check it out if you want. Okay, 
let's look at the games from last night and we'll see how we did and why we didn't do well or whatever. Killer here. We had the Hurricanes for large and we had the under for large, I believe, too, which was good. But it may it didn't make up for the it basically is a wash because we had the same thing here. We had the Oilers and we had the over and it just didn't make over. And the Oilers sucked so bad. This team doesn't play with urgency for some reason. It's been like this for like a long time. Years. They can't find a coach that can teach these guys to play with urgency in the playoffs. In the first two periods, sometimes even in the regular season. I don't know. Terrible loss. Dubois was out. Uh, no Ealers who may come back later. You had a great opportunity to get ahead on the Jets here. Now I'm a little concerned about the Oilers in this game after what happened to Chicago last year. But anyways, I'll move on. By the way, I'm an Oilers fan. Uh, this is going on right now. We had the Avalanche and the Over. So we need two more goals. Come on, guys. But we had the Avalanche in regulation. I believe it was for large. House published. I just want to make sure. Yep, Avalanche for Blues and Reg for Large and over five and a half. Over five and a half. Phase 190, both for Large. I need some goals here, guys. Come on, get some over. That'll be sitting pretty sweet. If I nail both of those, I'd be sitting up. I'd be up for sure. Uh, oh, sorry, I gotta go back to here. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. See what I did here? There. Oilers, Jets, four one, Avalanche. Right, right. Okay. Uh, Flames, Canucks. We me I messed that game up completely. I only I only had small pick on it, but. For some reason, I took the Canucks in the under, and afterwards, I'm watching the game thinking, what am I thinking? This is going to be like an all-star game. I should have took over. There wasn't going to be much hitting and stuff. Nobody wants to hurt anybody. It was a nothing game. Uh, sometimes, you know when you do that, you make a pick, and then afterwards, you thought, what the heck was I thinking? Anyways, we had the Bruins uh, here. We would have had the under if I would have known Samsonov was in, but we didn't. We had the over. So we're basically on the even side. Yeah, pretty much on the even side. We'll be up a few if this goes over the Colorado-St. Louis game. Well, that was my four full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. I got to get myself to bed. That live stream took the Dickens right out of me. Do you remember that Dickens? I don't know why they said that. but. Uh, it took a right out of me. I need some sleep, and uh, it's late. It's like 10.41. That's late for me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting to that age where 10.41 is late. Have a great day, everybody. Hope you enjoy the picks. Make a lot of money. Okay, bye.